finally, some more casting news and rumours. Hello all, that Nerdy Kid here. There's been some interesting uh, casting news and rumours over the past few days and so I thought I'd lump them all into the same video uh, instead of talking about them individually and wasting my and everyone else's time. So first of all, there are the rumours that Joaquin Phoenix is being looked at for a villain role in Batman vs Superman in 2015. Now, the most commonly uh, rumoured role that he could be taking would be Lex Luthor. And personally, I'd be fine with that. He's younger. Um, he's a phenomenal actor. Um, multiple time Academy Award nominee, I think at least. Um, he can portray creepy and dramatic. And I'm not sure if he can play smarmy, but we'll see. But the thing is, he's being looked at for a role, and many people think that that role is Lex Luthor. So, I don't necessarily think it would be a bad idea, but he's one of those people you don't immediately think of. Then the next bit of news is that Paul Rudd has been officially confirmed to play Ant-Man in Edgar Wright's Ant-Man in 2015. Now, this is fun. I, I actually quite like this. Um, the rumours have been circling for a while, but I think that, you know, it, I, I've thought it was going to be Paul Rudd for a while. Um, I think that the comedic nature of both himself and Edgar Wright will mesh well together. I hope the film isn't too comedic. I don't understand what a lot of people have said about um, Iron Man 3 and Thor The Dark World being too comedic. I, I don't understand that. I think it's fine and natural. Um, I hope that they don't go overboard in Ant-Man because I think it should be, you know, somewhat of a serious film. But the interesting thing is while he has been confirmed to be playing Ant-Man, there is still a fair degree of mystery over which version of Ant-Man he'll be playing. Now, for those that don't know, in the comic books there are three main people to have played Ant-Man. There's Hank Pym, the original, there's Scott Lang, and there's Eric O'Grady. Now, I am 98% sure that he's playing Hank Pym. One, I think that Hank Pym is and should be the main character in this film, and I don't understand why they would announce a lesser character before the main character. Um, number two, he kind of visually looks a bit like Hank Pym. I'm pretty damn sure he's Hank Pym, without a doubt. I do hope that Scott Lang and Eric O'Grady feature in some form in the film to sort of flesh out the whole Ant-Man family, so to speak, but that's probably best left to another video. And then the final piece of news that shocked me greatly this morning is that Baron Von Strucker will be appearing in the Avengers Age of Ultron in 2015. And they're currently looking at either Martin Sokas, who will be next seen in The Amazing Spider-Man 2 as Dr. Kofka, and Doug Ray Scott once pretty much had the role of Wolverine in the bag. Um, so they're looking at those two actors to play uh, Baron Von Strucker, which I think is interesting. Neither are German or anywhere close to German. Um, which makes me wonder what they're sort of going for as far as the role. What's even more interesting is the information that was released about Baron Von Strucker. Basically, he will supposedly be sort of the first minor antagonist in the film, and he's the one that will kind of pit Quicksilver and the, and the Scarlet Witch against the Avengers. So he will have a minor villain role before Ultron pretty much turns on the rest of the Avengers. I think that's interesting and I think that's good. I think that doing that is a good way to flesh out the story because you can't just have Ultron be the villain the entire film. That's not how the character works. Um, and I think he's a good choice for a villain anyway. I've been interested to see um, 
what other aspects of Hydra they were put on screen, and this pretty much confirms that Captain America the Winter Soldier will feature the return of Hydra in some form. But uh, leave your comments below, um, subscribe if you want to see more of my stuff, and like the video to give me likes. So thank you all, and I'll see you again soon.